The English media cannot stop talking about Oscar Brown. He's Manchester United's mega signing. And so far, he's living up to that £60 million price tag. We've got ex-footballers like Steven Gerrard and Rio Ferdinand praising Oscar Brown for his performances lately. In fact, we've got ex-Man United player Rio Ferdinand saying that Oscar Brown could be the difference between Manchester United winning the Premier League and not. He believes that Oscar is the X-factor Manchester United have been lacking up front for all these years. Of course, the English media are going to be excited about Oscar because he's had a phenomenal start to his Manchester United career. He scored on his Premier League debut and it was a wonder goal. And after that, he proceeded to score a brace against Burnley to win United the game. Things couldn't be going any better for Oscar Brown. He's back home. He's back at the club where his football career started, back at Manchester United and he's enjoying life. Optimism is sky high among Manchester United fans. I mean, we're playing some great football, Oscar continues to score, and of course they're going to be excited. Could this be the season where Manchester United return to their glory days? Hopefully so, but for now, let's get today's episode underway. Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome back to another episode of the My Player Career Mode series. Oscar's back at Manchester United and he's really enjoying his time here. Three goals in two games, we've started off the Premier League season with a bang. 82 rated now, stats going up, things are looking really good for us right now. We've got some absolutely cracking games in today's episode including this one against Wolves and also Champions League action. You guys are going to find out what our Champions League group is going to be for this season. So if you guys are enjoying this My Player Career Mode, make sure to drop a like in the video. Your support is greatly appreciated. 1500 likes would be awesome. And if you are new around here, make sure to subscribe for more FIFA 19 Career Mode content. Well, 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 look at this. Oscar Brown is already now the most important player in the team, especially based on form, which is awesome to see. And also, well, number one in terms of rivals as well for the squad ranking, which is brilliant. It's been a great start to our Premier League season. We are the only team that has a perfect record so far, with 4 games played, 4 wins and 12 points of course. But that could change, we've got a tricky game against Wolves coming up soon, but well, we're in a great spot at the moment. Look at that guys, it looks like it is going to be a competition between Marcus Rashford and Oscar Brown for the Golden Boot Award. Rashford is tearing it up for Spurs, he betrayed Manchester United and joined Spurs and well, Oscar Brown has to respond for United and hopefully we can see Brown winning the Golden Boot Award this season. There is definitely a rivalry between Rashford and Oscar Brown and I'm not sure it is a good one because, well, Oscar is certainly disappointed with the fact that Rashford continues to get picked for the English national setup and, well, he doesn't. So a bit of beef going on between the two of them. Who'll perform better this season in the Premier League? We're gonna have to wait to find out. So you guys have left some amazing suggestions in the comments of the previous episode for the player objectives and these are the six objectives that I've chosen. You guys know how this works, every time we complete an objective we get to give one of our stats a plus 2 boost. So here are the 6 objectives, first one being Hattrick Hero, scored a hattrick against the rival club Liverpool or Man City, a difficult objective but Oscar Brown now is a top player, he should be able to score a hattrick against even the best of clubs. Bicycle kick, score with a bicycle kick, now that is definitely a challenge but in the past we've seen Oscar's idol Wayne Rooney do it so who knows Oscar might be able to do it as well. Mo Salah who? That is the break Mo Salah's Premier League record of 32 goals in a single season. It's a difficult one but Oscar's off to a great start, 3 goals already. We've got more objectives obviously, Mr. Consistent and that is the score in 7 consecutive games. The complete forward assist 15 goals this season, again 1 assist already. From distance, this objective returns from last season, scores 7 goals from outside the box, Oscar's already scored 1. We've got some interesting objectives to try and complete this season and I'm really hyped. So we've got a very difficult task ahead of us as Manchester United face Wolves away from home and we know playing Wolves away is not an easy task, they've got some quality players. Oscar starting this one along with Lukaku up front, we've got the likes of Sarabia, Paul Pogba starting, interestingly no Toby Alderweireld who was signed in the last episode, it's still Smalling and Jones, which kinda doesn't make sense but oh well, this is the team, let's go out there and continue exactly where we left off from. Finds Oscar Brown, who's looking to create some sort of space, still Oscar Brown, Oscar goes for goal, not much power on it, easy save there for Rui Patricio. 
Pogba. Clever pass now to Oscar Brown who turns, goes for goal with the finesse shot, forces a big save from Rui Patricio. So far, Oscar's had a great start to this game. Interesting to see what we can produce from this corner. It's Fred with the header, a powerful effort from him, but straight towards Rui Patricio. Not good as Wolves might have an opportunity. Diego Yota on the attack, still Yota. The Portuguese puts it in. The header is brilliant, it's off the crossbar and it hits De Gea's back and it goes in. We couldn't have been more unlucky in that situation as Callum Wilson scores the first goal of this game and Wolves lead. It's not going to be an easy task getting back into this game. Oh, that's a brilliant ball won back by Lukaku and now Oscar Brown on the attack. Still Brown releases this one to Fred. Massive chance for him and he ain't going to miss from there. Oscar sets up the goal for Fred. A brilliant finish there from the Brazilian who's actually been really good so far this season. And Manchester United have managed to get away back into this game as they've equalised here against Wolves away from home. Hopefully this is just the start. This looks decent now, Oscar Brown releases to Anthony Martial, big chance for Martial who waits and finds Sarabia who goes for goal, Rui Patricio again with the save. Here we going now on the attack, Oscar Brown, still Oscar does so well, now plays it back into Luke Shaw, this is brilliant football, cross comes back in, Oscar Brown with the header and it was absolutely beautiful, the, the build up and link up play between Luke Shaw and Brown. And I certainly thought it was going to be a goal, but hey, it wasn't meant to be. Here we go now, Oscar Brown pushing forward. Fake shot, or oh, beats one easily then. The dribbling as well. Close control there from Oscar. Looks to bring it inside there with the step over. Still Oscar Brown. Can't back inside, it's brilliant. And it's Anthony Martial with the goal. Oscar couldn't score in this game, but he set up two goals in beautiful fashion as Manchester United in the 81st minute have taken the lead. Look at that for a run there from Brown. And then the cutback of dream. Martial converts as well. What a night for Manchester United as we've turned things around and we lead 2-1. Full time in this one and it's a big win for us away from home. We continue our perfect record in the Premier League. Five games played, five wins. Yet another brilliant performance from Oscar Brown. He is enjoying playing in this formation, in this tactical setup in a two-striker formation. Being a kind of a, as a number 10 for the team does allow him to, you know, drop deep, create, run with the ball. And he's really enjoying that. He couldn't score in this game. A couple of assists and three key passes is brilliant. So it is time to reveal our Champions League group of the season and we've got a very interesting group. We've been drawn into Group F with the likes of Barcelona, Olympique Marseille and even Moscow. This is going to be an interesting group. I reckon there's going to be tough competition between us and Barcelona for the top spot but we'll see how things go. Qualifying for the round of 16 though is a must. Looking at the other groups, we've got Olympique Lyon, Bayern, Spartak Moscow and Villarreal in Group A. Juventus, Benfica, Leipzig and Panathinaikos in Group B. Liverpool, Inter, Porto and Shakhtar. That is probably the group of death so far. Madrid, Dortmund, Roma, Anderlecht. Again, a very interesting group. PSG, Chelsea, Leverkusen and Celtic in Group E. You've got Atletico Madrid, my former club Ajax, Dynamo Kiev and Fenerbahce in Group G. Man City, Valencia, Lazio and Basel in Group H. Interesting groups, but of course... We've been drawn with Barcelona. United versus Barcelona, that's going to be a cracking game. So Oscar signed with Adidas, which means he can basically use any Adidas boots that he wants. And in the catalog, we've got this Adidas X 18 Plus Shadow Mode boots available. Let's give this a go. And there you go, I've got the new boots on for this upcoming game. Can't wait to see how it looks in game. The kind of form Oscar is in, of course he's going to start this game. He's starting up front along with the likes of Lukaku. Jonathan Ty is in the lineup, which is interesting. Bothwick Jackson is getting an opportunity. We've got Pogba Pjanic all starting. Let's go out there and start off the Champions League strong. This is a special moment for Oscar Brown. Champions League anthem at Old Trafford. What a day for him. This looks interesting. Marseille with a chance. Tawan finds Balotelli. An interesting opportunity there for Marseille. But it was an easy effort for De Gea to save. Oscar with a proper good chance here. Still Oscar Brown should score. And the keeper saved that. But he goes down inside the box. And he earns himself a penalty. I still can't understand how he didn't beat the keeper from that position. Anyways. Oh, he's earned the team a red card. Well... Jordan Amavi is going to get sent off for that and Marseille are down to 10 men. Well, that's better than expected. Of course, Romelu Lukaku is the penalty taker for Manchester United. Can Lukaku convert? He absolutely can as Manchester United make it 1-0. This game could get ugly for Marseille because now they're down to 10 men. Lukaku finds Oscar Brown. The finesse shot is brilliant and oh, so close to going in. 
Oh, Oscar Brown in a good spot now. Still Oscar Brown, can he score with his left foot? Goes for goal, keeper saves and they do clear it away. I'm trying to take advantage of the fact that Marseille are down to 10 men, but well, the keeper saved them there. Still 1-0 off the first half. Let's see what the second half brings. Oh, this is brilliant now. It's Anthony Martial. Could whip in that cross. Finds Oscar. Oh, he goes for the spectacular, but he couldn't reach it. That was actually a brilliant ball from Martial. Tavan on the attack for Marseille. Conceding now would be brutal. Cross comes in. It's a great cross. Thankfully, the header didn't have much power on it. For having a man advantage, we've actually been pretty terrible in this game. Full time in this one. I'm honestly surprised we didn't score more goals, but we completely dominated this game. We just didn't have luck in front of goal. 1-0. We start off our Champions League campaign with a win. Won't lie, I was expecting more from Oscar in this one. An 8.0 match rating isn't all that bad, but he should have really scored in this game. He did earn a red card for the opposition's team, which was huge in this game. Wow, so Barcelona actually drop points against Moscow that is interesting we play Barcelona next to the Camp Nou and that game should be in the next episode now Barcelona are in a must win situation interesting just two days after that game against Marseille in the Champions League we've got Huddersfield in the Prem it doesn't make sense risking an injury by playing that game we did sim it and we did get ourselves a 2-1 win and again the Carabao Cup is not a competition Oscar Brown wants to play in at least in the early rounds probably yes if it's the semis or the finals but for now we're going to simulate this game and keep our eyes set on that game against Chelsea away from home. We do beat Southampton in the Carabao Cup 3-2. Good to see the youngsters get the job done. With that win against Huddersfield, our perfect record in the Prem is intact. Six games played, six wins, 18 points. Just how we need it to be. But Chelsea, on the other hand, are struggling. Although they're unbeaten, they've only managed to get 10 points so far. We play them at the Stamford Bridge now and it's a big chance for Oscar. To score against a top club in the Premier League. Although Chelsea aren't title contenders, they are certainly a rival of Manchester United and it is never good to lose to Chelsea, especially at the Stamford Bridge. We're going to try our best to get a big win away from home. Oscar Brown does start up front. Also, very interesting to see that Anthony Martial is starting up front. Maybe Martial is going to be a starter now ahead of Romelu Lukaku. Interesting. Sarabia now in camp. Fred Pogba, Pjanic all starting. And also, look at that. No more Smalling, Phil Jones. We've got Aldo Wiedeld and Jonathan Tarr at the back. Looks like our coach Ole is going with all guns blazing for this one against Chelsea. Good to see him put out his strongest 11. That is the Chelsea team we're up against. They've still got Eden Hazard, Bakayoko, Kante, Murata, David Luiz at the back. Interesting team, but I reckon we've got more than enough to beat them. First visit to the bridge for Oscar Brown. This is, let's be honest, an iconic stadium. We've had players like Didier Drogba play for Chelsea up front. Frank Lampard. And now Oscar Brown is going to be playing here at the Stamford Bridge, of course, for the opposition's team. Now, we haven't scored a single goal from Oscar Brown in today's episode, and we really can't have that. Finds Bakayoko inside to Eden Hazard. Big chance for Hazard to score there, and he was onside, and well, that is a massive save from David De Gea. That is why he's our goalkeeper. Brilliant goalkeeping there. Kept Hazard from scoring. Is Oscar Brown on the attack now? Finds Anthony Martial. Gets it back now. Big chance here for Oscar Brown. 1v1 situation. Can he convert? Absolutely he can. It is a lethal counter attack from Manchester United. And Oscar Brown does his brand new celebration here. Along with Anthony Martial as well. As Manchester United make it 1-0 against Chelsea. That was brilliant link up play between him and Anthony Martial. Again, what a counter attack this was. No chance the keeper was saving that. A brilliant effort from Oscar results in a goal and the number 10 has scored his very first goal at the Stamford Bridge. Chelsea have a chance now, it's Pedro whipping in the cross, Alvaro Morata's header threatened De Gea but again straight towards him so he made a good save there. Well this is not looking good, Chelsea have themselves a free kick from about 26 yards, they're going to try some sort of a set piece, it is now Hazard who goes for goal, forces a save out of David De Gea. Half time against Chelsea. It's been an interesting game. We've barely had any of the ball. It's been all Chelsea in terms of possession. We've been ruthless on the counter though as Oscar put his side into the lead. Let's see what the second half brings. We need to improve though. Here's Oscar cleverly done to find Ruben Pena. And now we're pushing forward once again. Cross comes in. Anthony Martial somehow gets there first and scores. That is a brilliant goal from Martial. Maybe he should be the starter ahead of Romelu Lukaku. We've made it 2-0 against Chelsea. 
But honestly, what on earth was David Luiz doing there? Was it Ethan Ampadu? I'm not sure. I think it was Ampadu. Lack of experience maybe the cause for that. Anyways, easy goal for Martial. Finishes it brilliantly as we make it 2-0. Could be a chance here for Chelsea. They're desperately trying to get back in this game. Aspeliqueta beats one. Finds Morata who goes for goal but misses completely. Oh, Kante turns Oscar Brown there. Now in goal, oh, Kante might be able to do something. Finds Barkley. Still Barkley. Hazard with the chance but De Gea with the save. Chelsea have had their opportunities in this game but it's just that David De Gea has been brilliant. Full time against Chelsea and it's a decent win for us at the Stamford Bridge. Wasn't the most convincing performance from the team especially because Chelsea kept most of the possession but on the counter attack we were unbelievable. De Gea was insane. Chelsea didn't take their chances and we did. Wasn't really Oscar's best performance, but when it mattered, he delivered. Scored an important goal in this one, 7.9 match rating as well. And that win keeps our perfect record in the Premier League intact. Seven games played, seven wins. We've scored 16 and conceded just four. 21 points so far. Brilliant. Man City though, they've been pretty perfect so far in the Prem. They've just drawn that one game. Apart from that, they've been pretty good. Six wins. They've scored the same amount of goals as us, conceded two less. They've got 19 points. FIFA World Cup qualifiers are coming up soon as England will be facing Sweden and Norway. Even though Oscar's been successful in Spain, in Netherlands and now he's performing really well for England's biggest club Manchester United, he still hasn't received his England call-up. But this time there is a certain optimism that Oscar will be picked for these upcoming games against Sweden and Norway. And that is because this is what Gareth Southgate had to say. I have nothing against Oscar Brown. The reason why I haven't picked him is because, well, Rashford, who plays in the same position as him, has been better. So at least now Oscar has some clarity. Before, he didn't even know why he wasn't getting picked for the England national team. It's now clear that, well, Marcus Rashford is first choice for England, so all Oscar's got to do is perform better than Rashford to get his England call up. Hopefully, he can do exactly that. Here's a quick look at our player objectives. Wasn't really the best of episodes because, well, we didn't really make that much progress. Mo Salah, who we now on four goals, which is nice to see. Complete forward, three assists, which means we're on track to completing that challenge. Unfortunately, though, we couldn't really keep a consistent goal scoring record in today's episode. So we need to start again for the Mr. Consistent Challenge. So we end off the episode being 82 rated. I know Oscar hasn't really gone up in his overall in the last two episodes. As we progress through this series, it's going to get harder and harder to go up in the overall because we're already pretty high rated. But nevertheless, stats are going up, dribbling up by two. Dribbling is now 88, which is nuts. And five games played so far this season, four goals and three assists. Our form is on point. Honestly, the next episode is about to be just unbelievable. First up, we've got Barcelona in the Champions League. How crazy is that? Playing them at the Camp Nou. And then we've got Liverpool. That's right, Liverpool at Old Trafford. It's a rivalry game. It's, it's, it's a big rival in English football that we'll be facing. And I can't wait for that game against them. West Ham as well. And again, news about the England call-up. I don't know what's going to happen with that. We'll see how things go. But exciting times indeed. So guys, that is that for today's episode. Really hope you guys are enjoying the My Player Career Mode series. And if you guys are, I would really appreciate a like on this video. If you are new around here, make sure on to subscribe for more FIFA 19 career mode content. 1500 likes would be brilliant and I'll see you guys next time.